Did I scare you? Hope I didn't scare you too much. I know that like I'm ugly. I like to think I'm not that ugly, but sometimes I doubt myself, you know? As you guys can tell today, I've done something a little bit different. Um, I added more orange dye to my hair, obviously. No, I didn't. So as you can see, I'm wearing a skeleton today. The reason for that is not because it's Halloween, actually. That's part of the reason, but not the total reason. But the main reason that I have this on my face today is because today is Edition two. The audio hopefully sounds a lot better in this one. I toyed more with the sound on GarageBand while I'm filming this. I have an external mic, which I've been using because the internal mic on my Fujifilm is trash. So hopefully my image quality and my voice quality is a lot better. I know I have a very abrasive, loud, obnoxious Long Island voice. Bear with me. So today's music makeover is on the new Good Charlotte album that just came out. It's called Generation RX. If you don't know what the album looks like, you can just do a quick Google search above, look for Generation RX. You should be able to find it pretty easily. Once you see it, you'll know it's all five band members with just the skeleton makeup on. It has their name up top in white and the name of the album in green neon below. Very simple, very topical given the holiday season that's coming up with all the ooh spooky, but I don't think that's what they were going for since they released it a whole month early. I think it's more of a commentary on, I don't know, whatever emo shit's going on through their head, but it's cool to look at. So we did a look based on that. I didn't want to go with straight up skeleton makeup just because I feel like that's very overdone, very too literal. I wanted to do a look that was still related to the album, but was a little more doable for people who don't necessarily want to go out and buy face paint, who want to use more of the things they have at home, if you're a big makeup collector like myself. So I think this is something that you can easily do at home with the stuff you have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into this. Let's move on to the tutorial part of this video. I hope you guys enjoy, like this video and subscribe if you do, and let's get right into this tutorial. Hey guys, so welcome to the tutorial part of this video. As you can see, I've already primed and applied makeup to my face and eyebrows because as I mentioned in my last tutorial, my skin is ratchet as hell. So we're just going to move right on ahead to today's eye look. Stay tuned. I'm starting off this look with my Morphe 35D Dark Smoky Palette and first going into this shimmery golden brown shade as a base for the rest of my shadows. Then I'm using this matte brown shade in my crease and then topping off the crease with this matte black shade. I'm then carrying the black shade under my lower lash line and then smoking it out on my upper. Now I'm taking the sugar pill shadow in the shade Taco and using that to fill in my lid, stopping at the crease. Now comes the fun part. I'm taking this NYX Epic Ink Liner, which by the way is a total dupe for the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. With this I'm starting a wing and then drawing in geometric lines around my eye to resemble that of a skull's eye socket. Then I'm taking that same matte black shade from before and just smoking out the lined areas so that the white lid really pops. Now I'm taking this Kat Von D Basket Case Anti-Precision Liner and using it for my waterline and tightline and if anyone has any helpful tips on how to not cry while doing your tightline, please send them over because I suck at it. And then I'm just hitting my under eye with this shimmery silver shade. For this look I've chosen not to do false lashes, I don't think it'll add anything since the look is already so intense. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara and only doing my tips. When you do this it gives the second coat something to grab onto. I can't believe how many gurus won't tell you this secret, but now you know. So that's one half of my eyes all done. I'm gonna hop off and do my other eye off camera and I'll be back in a hot minute. Okay, I'm back and looking exactly like a member of KISS, but that's all right. I'm now moving on to my face. This look involves a lot of contouring with bronzer and eyeshadow, so let's just get to it. I'm going in with this Morphe bronzer in the shade Vlogger because I'm a vlogger and using that to carve out my jowls, jawline, temples, and most importantly, sides of the nose to make me look more skeletal. Then I'm taking that shimmery silver eyeshadow from before to deepen those contours even further. Now I'm taking this NYX Holographic Halo Setting Powder in the shade Mermazing as a highlighter to give the illusion that my skin is made of bone. 
My lips are looking a little too human-like, so I'm going in with the Sephora Lip Cream in the shade Nightbird. Guys, seriously, if you need a black lipstick, this is it. It's super creamy, smells like vanilla, and it's cheap as fuck, so go out to your nearest Sephora and grab 20 of them. I live. For the teeth, I'm taking this NYX Vivid Brights eyeliner in the shade Vivid Envy. I used the same line of liners in my last tutorial in red, but they come in eight shades and are great for detailing like this. Finally, I'm taking that same Halo setting powder from before and putting it on each tooth to give it some dimension. So that's it for this tutorial. Let's move on to the other screen to see the full look. So this is the finished look. As you can tell, I look absolutely crazy. I would not recommend going out in public like this unless you're the mayor of Halloween Town or something. And that's the universe you live in for some reason, which I know for a fact is false because Welcome to reality. But I tried to make this a little bit more architectural. As you can see, the eye makeup is a little bit more on the geometric side. The lip is a neon green to accommodate the neon text on the album cover. I tried to make it cute, you know? I didn't want to make it too graphic, but still have that punch. And I think this would be cute if you were going to like a Halloween party or you had to dress up for work, something like that. Something easy, you can do it in under an hour. And uh, yeah, this is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I ramble a lot and I'm trying to get better at that, but <laughs> anxiety. So I'm trying to get better at that. Hopefully I'll become more comfortable with a camera in coming weeks and I'll be more used to being on the spot. Um, I know I mentioned before that I did not used to do that. So please bear with me as I become more confident in my candid humor. If you like this video, there's going to be a part two coming up where I react to the recent appearance they had on James Corden with Dr. Phil. We live in a universe where that can happen, God bless. But that's what I'm gonna be reacting to next, so make sure you catch that video. It should be up in the next few days. It might go up tomorrow, might go up the day after. I'm not sure yet. Um, definitely wanna get on that soon because it already happened, so be on the lookout for that if you want to be the first to know when that goes up. You can hit the little subscribe button below and hit the bell. That will give you the first notification when my videos go up, so make sure you do that. I'll be back next week with another Music Makeover Monday, and for now, see you next time. Bye.